Right, let me introduce you to Helmut, a new company started by Nathan Warrington, aka Oban, the Motor of Member, and this is his new business where he's making helmet mounting systems for cameras, mounted systems from the bikes. Basically, anything he can model in 3D, he can make. My other helmet, my new one, he was making me my new mount to go on the chin. But my new helmet was a bit of a strange chin guard, so he's gone through a few different designs. I'll show you the designs and the methods he goes through and how he does it. So this is Hull Mount. So this is how Hell Mount works. Here's my helmet. Here's my GoPro bracket. The GoPro's not in there at the minute because I'm filming with it. What I want is my GoPro mounted on the helmet. And the problem I've got with this helmet is this foot piece is a vent. So I can't, I can't really stick to that. Oh, this helmet's designed here with these white little bits of trim on it. These little bits of trim easily remove, so they're not really strong enough to stick to. So I'm a bit limited to what I could do with it. I didn't want it side mounted. I didn't want it top mounted. So this is where Nathan and Hell Mount came in. So what he did, you give him the helmet, or in my case, I gave him the chin guard piece. That's the only bit I needed. And then what he will do with his design and measuring, he will take the shape of this chin guard. Now, I don't know how he does it. I've got some screenshots and some video footage he sent me, how his software works and how he does his 3D printing and his CAD design, but he makes the this shape, he makes the mould of this. And then what he's got is this. And he will use that then, as you can see, to try and gauge the angle on the chin guard. And then from that, he made my mount. So I don't mind the mount being attached here and here and coming across the front. That doesn't bother me. I still want um, the vent. I need to be able to get to the vent if needed. So I can't really have the camera on this because this does actually come off this vent bit does so I could end up losing the camera. So after his many hours of design and testing and making different ones to get the angles right and sending me messages. This is what we have. So that's my Hellmount bracket for my Nolan helmet. It's my helmet, the N72X. And that shape is that shape. So all I need to do is I'm not going to use 3M sticky tape. I'm going to use Sugru. I'm going to Sugru on here, and then just a tiny bit here, which will sit on that lip. And it will go like that. So it's actually come out, so it looks actually part of the helmet. He's done me one in black as well. So I've got black and 
white. I actually prefer the white one, I think I'm going to use the white one. So I'll soon glue that on. This little bit here is shaped so it will sit just and that's how it'll look. So if I get this That will be like that. And then my camera will be like that. He's got on the back the part number for this model helmet. So what he's got now is all he's got the database now. So every helmet he does, he will have the mould for it. the black one here was another design where it was a bit more square it stuck out so that one was like that which I didn't mind that one because I said I could use I could use this part and that's the part I like that's what I can do is I can use this to attach my mic cable to so my cables not hanging down but that's not just the only thing he does I said, I've got a few more other ideas if you can make them for me. One of them was this. It's got the Motorev logo on it. And this is my micro SD card holder. So I can keep all the memory cards in it. So he's only one of them. I also have a storage box where I charge everything and my cardo pack talk is always just loose in the box banging around so I said I would like if for some while I could fix the cardo in the charge station so what he did he made one of these so all I can do now I can 3M take this stick it down and that's the cradle for the cardo to keep it secure. All I do, press the button at the front. And it releases it. So that's another one is designed for me. We've got the chin guard. We've got the memory card holder. And then as you've probably seen, I use the GoPro Session mounted bomber screen on the bike, which is facing recording me. And the problem with these GoPro Sessions is the door is on the side, so when the door's open and you've got a USB cable in, the camera's fully exposed to any moisture or any water. So I said it would be nice to have a case made, because inside the cable sticks out to about here. So this section here is just hollow but enough to house the door what's open and the charge cable going in so now when that's on the bike any water will only run down and off so I can now leave that on the bike and all I do is put this open and I can just pop the camera out so there we go there's another design so what we're going to do now we're going to screw glue this on let it dry and then we'll go out and test it. There we go. It's now so glued in place. It fits absolutely superb. And it blends nicely in with the helmet. So I've got my mic lead here, USB-C, USB-C runs along here, 
that's now sew screwed in place. There's my mic adapter, that's sew screwed in place. So all I have to do now is unplug the mic, unplug the USB-C, and there's my setup. So I've got my camera all fixed in place, USB-C, microphone adapter. And so now I don't need to remove the GoPro. I'll just use that as my charge station, as my sync station. So from that, I can plug a charger into there and charge it off the bike. I can also transfer footage from the camera straight to the bike. That's it, all wired in, sew glued in place, solid and strong. There we go, that's my Hell Mount GoPro chin guard bracket. So it's a new company, hellmount.com. The website's just been set up and there's gonna be quite a few different products available. It's gonna be exciting seeing this. But there we go, that's my setup. Mm -hmm.